Hi guys, Dane here. It's uh, Sunday the 17th of September and I'm currently reading The Eyes of Heisenberg by Frank Herbert. Uh, I only started reading this today and I'm only like 50 pages from the end so I'll probably finish it soon. And then I have some John Wyndham, uh, Wonders of Time I think it is, but it was when he was writing under his pseudonym of John Be John Bettian. Couldn't even be bothered to change his first name I guess. So yeah, uh, all is good. Hello everybody, it's currently quarter past eight in the morning. Guess who hasn't slept? And who has, I don't even know what on my t-shirt. It's an old t-shirt, whatever. <laughs> I finished reading The Eyes of a Heisenberg by Frank Herbert. I gave it like a three out of five. It was all right. Um, a lot of the science, I'm not so sure how well that holds up. Um, but it asked some interesting questions about like design of babies and gene editing and all that kind of stuff. I just feel as though the dialogue's moved on a little bit since he wrote it. However, it was pretty interesting anyway as like a historical artifact. Only about 160 odd pages, so not a whole lot to it. But uh, yeah, full review coming soon. And now I'm reading Wanderers of Time by John Bennion, uh, who is John, uh, John Wyndham's alter ego. And this is some of his short stories from uh, his earlier career when they were publishing like pulp magazines. And this is very much a pulp book as well. So that's where I'm at. Um, now that it's the daytime, I can do a little bit of filming because I have quite a lot of stuff on my list to do. I finally finished taking photos of all the vinyls that I have for sale as well. So that's gonna keep me a little bit busy. Uh, later on today, I have some training with the Art Centre. It's inclusivity and disability training. So uh, I'm on Zoom for that. I'm not sure what time. Other than that, I'm just writing all this stuff. Also, uh, in writing news, I heard that uh, my story, Black Solstice, has been accepted by Regina from Regina's Haunted Library for the next uh, Booktube Horror Anthology. And uh, I think that's going to be called... Uh, what is it, Serve Cold or Best Serve Cold? More information will be coming on that soon anyway, so I'll update you on that. But yes, that is where we're at, and in case you're wondering, it's Monday the 18th. Already this year's going mental. Hello, okay, it's currently Tuesday. Tuesday the what? Tuesday the 19th of January. Uh, I finished reading Wanderers of Time by John Wyndham, so I will be doing a review of that shortly. And now I'm currently reading the, uh, oh, and I, I gave that like a 3.5 out of 5. I rounded it down to 3 on Goodreads. Um, so a weak 3.5 out of 5, but uh, it was it was all right. And now I'm reading The Looney by Spike Milligan. Uh, this is a novel, an Irish fantasy. It's very surreal and humorous. However, I, I made a bet to myself going in. I was like, I bet he uses the N word at some point in this. Page two, he'd used it. He'd used it twice by the end of page two. He's used it many times since. Also the W word, various other racist terms. I mean, he was of an age and an era, I guess. I mean, I think he picked up most of this racism from the British army when he was fighting during the Second World War. But it's a shame because it does really ruin it. Like, um, other than that, it's quite good. I mean, I'm gonna give it, I'm still probably gonna give it like a three, maybe, yeah, probably a three. It's just, it It would have been a four if it didn't have all the racism in, so. But uh, that's what's happening. Susie's coming over later. I made some cinnamon swirls earlier there over there. I've currently got some um, crispy kale in the oven and I'm gonna attempt to make fresh pasta with a tomato sauce with some vegetables and tofu. Uh, I've got this little pasta maker thing that my mom gave to me and I haven't used it yet. So I'm looking forward to using this as an excuse to, to make some fresh pasta. Oh mate, I feel terrible. It's currently Wednesday the 20th, I think, of January. Uh, Susie came over yesterday and we had a nice little evening of snuggles and stuff. Uh, and then I woke up with her before work today. After like eight hours sleep and by 10 a.m. I was back in bed again. It's now like 6 p.m. so I had like eight hours. But during that time I felt very unwell. I had the shakes and stuff again. Uh, did some research on my phone about it. I think I'm gonna have to go to the doctors and again and just be like, look, you need to run some tests. They need to test me for hypothyroidism and um, uh, 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 anemia and B12 deficiency, which are both quite common uh, amongst vegetarians, and vegans, and obviously I've been I've not had meat since I was 16, and I don't have the best diet. I think I have a borderline eating disorder, to be honest. Uh, like I generally don't really eat when I'm by myself. Like I'll eat loads when I see Susie, and then that's it. I won't really eat until next time I see her. Because for me, eating is very functional. I also don't really get hungry. I just get stomach aches. So it's very hard to tell these things. But yeah, I've taken my my um, t my temperature with a thermometer, 
my temperature is 33.3 degrees Celsius, which is not good because I think the average healthy temperature is between 36.5 and 37.5. Says anything below than 35 is considered hypothermia and you should seek immediate medical attention. And I'm below that by a good number. The equivalence between the number I'm at and the low healthy threshold is more than the difference between the low and the high healthy threshold. So that's not good. So I'm going to talk to my mom about it. It does say that hypothyroidism can be a reason for that and hypothyroidism can also lead to anemia and it can give you a slow heart rate, which I have like a noticeably slow heart rate. My heart rate is apparently the same as like an Olympic athlete's heart rate. So especially when my resting heart rate is like 54 beats per minute or something, when average is more like 70 or 80. So maybe we've discovered there something, but I don't know because I have anxiety and it's health anxiety. So I feel like a dick constantly going back to the doctors and being like, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Just, I'd wanna stop feeling terrible. I also have all these pains still from like last week. So I quit smoking, it's been a week now, about well, six days, six and a bit days. And I quit smoking because I was having these weird chest pains and neck pains and all this stuff. And they're still there. I don't know. Anyway, book rise, I finished reading The Looney by Spike Milligan. It was very racist, but it was also kind of funny at times. Probably give it a three out of five. I can't give it anything bigger than that because of the racism in it, but it, I enjoyed it. Once I got past the fact that he kept calling people M-bombs and W-bombs, and like calling Japanese people nips and saying they have yellow skin and stuff. Pretty fucked up. Uh, and now I'm reading The Heaven Makers by Frank Herbert, author of June, mainly because it's quite a small book and I'm trying to read through stuff on my reading list. So hello, it is, oh, I've got my Fitbit back. I've got my new strap. It is Friday the 22nd of January, um, been doing some work today, I did some recording earlier as well, I recorded a new uh, song of mine called The Wolf and the Fox, which I think by this point I've put on my channel, uh, just to share that with you guys. So that was fun, uh, I finished reading The Heaven Makers by Frank Herbert, this was a 3 out of 5. I've now moved on to Pebble in the Sky by Isaac Asimov and I'm right near the end and it's coming in for like a 3.5 out of 5. It's one of the Galactic Empire books I think. So, um, yeah, I've kind of read them out of order, so maybe you'd get more enjoyment if you read them in order. But it's still interesting. It's basically about a person from our Earth who, like, in between... He's walking along, right? And one foot is in our world. And then by the time he's put the other foot down, he's, like, 60,000 years in the future into the, uh, into the Galactic Foundation. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's, you know, it's Asimov. Asimov's great. Uh, and then next up I'm going to read Where Have All the Bullets Gone by Spike Milligan. This is volume number five of his war biography. Uh, I'm starting to run out of books to read but this is a good thing. So I think my currently reading list is currently on 111. And I did get it down to like 45 last year. So I'm trying to get it back down to like somewhere near that figure I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I won loads of sci-fi, hence all the sci-fi. So there's like loads of authors I have a bunch of books from. Uh, and um, Milligan's another one of those authors. So because I haven't really been buying new books recently because of lockdowns and whatnot, I'm currently just binging through all of these like little thin sci-fi books. And whatever looks as though I can pick it up and read it quite quickly. In terms of other life, uh, Susie came over last night and we what? Fuck off! In terms of life updates and stuff, Susie came over last night and we watched The Midnight Sky, which was all right. Um, the music was beautiful. The music was beautiful and it had some pretty cool special effects in it. Fuck off! The music was beautiful and it had some pretty cool special effects in it. Uh, the acting was pretty good as well. The storyline wasn't great and there was this like, I think it was meant to be a twist. I don't know, right at the beginning, basically uh, the main character is like left alone somewhere and he sees this little girl and, and I'm now watching it being like, I hope it isn't gonna be one of those cheesy films where the girl turns out to be a figment of his imagination. Lo and behold, guess what happens? And it's just like, oh, 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 oh. People have gotta stop doing that. That trope is just, it's, no, it's not good, mate. It's not good. So um, yeah, that kind of ruined the film really. Uh, and that's like the ending of it as well. So it's supposed to be this triumphal ending of like this convergence of the two stories And it's just like oh, it's the cheesiest thing in the world 
So, uh, yeah, that was a shame. Otherwise, it might have been good. Um, but I have some other good stuff to watch. I have some, like, true crime documentaries and stuff. Well, I'm mostly actually currently watching The Chase on YouTube because my, my YouTube Watch Later playlist is down back down to, like, 700 videos. So I'm trying to get that down to zero because it sometimes happens. And then when I get down to zero, uh, I've got a bunch of Netflix stuff to watch. But also, I have to listen to and watch A Clockwork Orange, Battle Royale, and the Hunger Games trilogy for a video for, for two videos that Susie and I are doing. So um, yeah, subscribe to Lord Literature and Madam Media for that because we'll we'll be dressing up for them both. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Bye bye. Hello, Wet Dane here. It is currently Saturday, the 23rd of January. I'm currently reading Where Have All the Bullets Gone? Spike Milligan War Biography Volume 5. It's alright. Uh, there's a lot less racism in this one, although there is still a bit of racism. But um, yeah, it's about the Second World War. It's actually kind of towards the end of the war, so he's not really on the front line anymore now. He's just sort of hanging out and playing trumpet and entertaining people. Uh, interesting enough read. Susie's coming over later, um, so we're just going to have a nice chill evening. Uh, we're going to do some Reckless Journal together. Probably listen to some vinyls and I will cook some food in a bit. Uh, I've done my walk today, dropped off a bunch of eBay parcels, so there is that. And yeah, just cracking on with things really. I think that's all I got for you. Right. Look, it's snowing. Isn't it so pretty? It's like living inside a snow globe. Yeah. We're listening to some vinyls. <laughs> Well, no, I would be, I just walk and enjoy the snow globe vibe. Because the second you start playing with the snow, you start getting wet and too cold. Yeah. That is really nice. Also, I always find it's nicer to look out when it Yeah. Well, while it's doing that out there, we're nice and cosy in here. We're listening to some vinyl. Dane is being a chef extraordinaire. What are we having this morning, babe? We're having a little cooked breakfast. I'm just frying up some veggies. Here's a, a, a mushroom I failed to cook correctly. Here we go. <laughs> Shallots, mushrooms, onion, and then we're going to have some Beyond sausage. And then this I'm going to cut into little things, put some butter on it, both sides, dairy free butter, fry that off. Be lovely. Yeah, it should be good. It's a nice morning. All right, it is currently Sunday, Sunday the 24th of January. Uh, Susie stayed over last night and we did some vinyls and stuff. Um, she was helping me do my reckless journal and one of them was to, to hide it somewhere and she hid it in the cistern of the toilet and it, the water got in. It was in a waterproof thing. But um, yeah, it's all gone a bit manky. So I'm, I'm gonna call this finished. But it was a four out of five, it was an okay uh, little project while it was on. I will say, the problem with this, so this is Reckless Journal by Kerry Smith. Really, the only way to complete this, you, you couldn't just flip into it randomly and choose random ones as they took your fancy, and you couldn't work through it in order. There's like a very specific way you would have to follow these if you wanted to do all of them. Because otherwise you've got like, all this mad stuff, right? Like, I don't know what else it is, but you're covering it with all this crap. Oh, here we go, pages falling out and stuff. And then you have to do ones like this one where you lick you lick the page. And it's like, well, I don't really want to lick the page because you told me to throw it in the mud. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think I was ever going to finish that. But uh, yeah, it was okay while I was reading it. I was looking around. Okay, my main book is over there, Where Have All the Bullets Gone by Spike Milligan, which is, I think, his final war memoir. I've got about 30 pages to go, so I'm going to rate that now. It's probably a 3.5 out of 5. It would have been better if it didn't have unnecessary racism in it, but if it doesn't have unnecessary racism, is it even a Spike Milligan book, you know? So uh, I've read that pretty much. And then what am I reading next? Uh, I think I'm going to read Ursula K. Le Guin. I've got one of her books that I'm going to read. I've also made a good dent in La Hobbit, which is my bedtime book. Um, so. Bilbo and the crew, they've just left, uh, they've just been in Sea Elrond and now they're off to the Misty Mountains. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying that. And um, it's, it's funny because so I'm reading it in French and um, the speed at which I'm reading it is about the same speed I originally read The Hobbit in English, but I was about nine or ten then. So, um, yeah, it's kind of fun though, still enjoying reading it. 
And that about brings us to the end. I, I uh, slept for like six hours this afternoon. It snowed a lot as well, so that happened. I'm feeling a bit rough to be honest. But hey ho. And um, yeah, I'm just about to settle in and be productive now. But that brings us to the end of another weekly reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.